Hello folks, welcome. Manjaro Linux, KDE Plasma 6.1.5. Not everybody's cup of tea, it's an Arch-based distribution. Today I'm going to talk about this little button right here, power off. If you uh, have the affliction that uh, when you click that and hit shut down and it's taking you a while to shut down, um, I can show you how to make one of these and it instantaneously powers off your system. I'll also give you some warnings when you do that as far as saving files. I am filming in 1080. Please adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary. This is their latest version from Manjaro, KDE Plasma. And you can see the kernel and you can see the version. So again, welcome folks. Now, this is not everybody's cup of tea. Um, but if you feel a little bit comfortable with script files, I'm going to show you how to make this rather easily. Um, you have Kate installed, and you can uh, create a text file with Kate. And I did here. I called Mon Power Off. It's very simple. It's just two commands to create these kind of things. I'm going to open that up for you, and then I'll make it bigger. Again, I'm using a Kate the text editor. You can certainly use whatever favored text editor that you have. Hopefully, you know the bin bash statement. Uh, that would be. If you are using your shift, a number three and number one produces those two symbols, forward slash bin, forward slash bash, again, stands for born again shell. System CTL uh, command, space power off. That is the command for powering off your system. Save this file. And my suggestion for a name would be something simple and one word, no extension. Then right click on the file and more importantly, make sure that it's executable, being that uh, it needs to be run as a program. That's first part. Now let's create an icon for it. Right click, create new URL. I'll call this one power off two. Can you uh, create or find widgets? More likely, I'm just showing you how you can make your own. All right, so th for the universal resource locator, I would just click that little symbol there. Go find your file. Mine is in documents. It's only one. And hit OK. You'll get an ugly icon that looks like a black and white thing. Just go ahead and right click and hit properties and pick your own icon. You can switch this over to all if you like. You can type power. And you can pick that green thing like I did. Or you can, if you type in shot, you can pick a black and white one like this one. Now, depending on the wallpaper that you're currently using, uh, they may blend. That one's hard to see. You can see the text though. And I don't dare double click on these things. I have the, the desktop is set for double click. That's why I'm able to click and move it. If you decide to change your desktop to a single click, be very careful with these. And the second thing I'm going to make mention of, I don't care how you create these, but always save your files. I don't care if you have open web links, uh, documents, or whatever. You save your files before touching these kind of things. A lot of people don't like to do this kind of stuff, and it takes a while to shut down sometimes. These are instantaneous. They don't ask any questions. If you try it out, just be prepared that you need to save your files before doing any of this kind of stuff. Thank you for watching.